we realized in April of 2021 that retail investors had bought 80% of the shares of our company. I was flabbergasted. I'd never heard of a company on the New York Stock Exchange that was owned 80% by retail investors. You know, I would put out public comments that they are our bosses and uh, we work for them, and that I, as the CEO of this company, work for them. That wasn't pandering to them. That's what I was trained to think in business school 40 years ago. Management teams work for the owners of their company. They own AMC and they deserve respect for owning AMC. And I've seen so many tweets where the so-called smart money, the Wall Street financial elites would look down on these individual investors. Our stocks had a more than a 2,000% increase in 2021. Who's the dumb money? Uh, who's the smart money? And as Wall Street elites have been thumbing their noses at Main Street, I think a lot of these people wanted the legitimacy that they deserved. And they are a force to be reckoned with, not only for AMC, but for all the financial markets. I work for them. Professional managers have always worked for the shareholders of their company. You know, I see all this stuff on Twitter that I'm the, the king. And all. No, it's the shareholder who's king. Management can lead, but management needs to listen to its shareholders because they are the owners of the company. And it is retail investors who have become the owners of AMC. So it's their company. If some of you are watching, it's your company. And we're proud to be along with you for the ride. We've embraced our investors. We're very grateful to them for their love and affection of our company. And I'll say that today, whether our share price goes up tomorrow, it stays the same or it goes down.